Mina san konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And today we're doing a review of the HG1144 uh, Barbatos Lupus from um, Iron Blooded Orphans. Okay, long story short. Long story short, it kind of sucks. Sorry. Yeah, which is unfortunate. Um, it's a cool looking kit, um, and I, I, I like the design of it and everything. The problem is, is that they sort of added too much stuff from the original Barbatos. So as far as like posability and stuff goes, it just throws it out the door. Is there a reason it's lying down right now? Um, not really. It actually stands up really great. Okay. The, the feet are awesome. The feet are great. The, and pretty. Yeah, the feet are huge and they're really, really good at holding up the kit. But as you can see, one of the skirts just fell off. Yeah. This is actually one of the biggest problems with it is the skirts are awful. The, um, these huge skirts on the sides, they just come right off mm -hmm. uh, whenever, whenever you pose the leg. And yes, somebody is going to say in the comments, well, you can put nail polish on something and that will magically make it better, but not really. <laughs> it actually, in this case, it won't because this isn't about, um, this isn't about the tensile ability of the, um, the poly cap. This is just that the, um, the skirts are in a position and there's too much of them. Um, there's really just no range of motion. Um, the, the front skirts here, um, they sort of take up space that these skirts should be able to get into in order to pose. Mm. Um, so you have a real limited range of motion. Um, and if you pop them up, you're probably going to bump into the side skirts. So if you want to pose it, expect to do that. Expect to, to take them off and put them back on. That one just fell off when I was trying to move the leg. Um, the back skirt is completely unmovable. So the, the legs in the back will only go back like just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, which of course is okay because the Barbatos can, um, you know, kick itself, in the, kick itself the in the back of the head because its leg is, you know, weirdly shaped like that. Um, oh, but me too. yeah, but those skirts are, are kind of a hassle. Um, it's like the reverse Cynthia Rothrock. Yeah. <laughs> um, Aside from that, it's not like hugely problematic. It's just that it sucks that posing it involves taking off the skirts and putting them back on. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like, you know, we should be beyond that with Gunpla. Um, the hands, there's um, there's two sets of hands. There's basically one for a normal posing with the, um, the sword. And then there's um, an angled version. Um, nothing really to complain about there. It's just... Um, you know, the hands hold up the sword. Yeah, the hand will hold up the sword, which is actually important. a huge, huge benefit for it. <laughs> um, because a lot of kits, that's not able to be done. And let's face it, if you're looking at that sword, you're not paying that much attention to the fact that the skirts are a little imperfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're, they're annoying. Uh, that's all. I mean... A little imperfect. If all you're doing is just putting it on a shelf and ignoring it, then... It's probably not a big deal, but if you if you like to put them into different poses and you like to play around with them like that, then that's gonna be that's gonna be troublesome mm -hmm. for you. Um, so anyway, it does have the extra hands, so you can put it in like a more swinging or or I guess more brandishing pose. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't hold it up at full length very well, but it will it will hold it up. And that's one of those places where you know your clear nail polish or whatever can help. Mm -hmm. um, so you can hold it at full length even um, with relative effectiveness. Um, it, it is, of course, heavy, and this is an HG kit, so it's gonna the arms are going to go down. Um, Me too. Yeah. How do the shoulders turn out? Um, the shoulders are actually kind of neat. I like them um, because it's, two, piece it's two pieces, so you get that Tekadon logo. Um, also, they're actually separate pieces. Um, so the they, red piece they, comes off. Well, the red piece can move a little. Mm. Yeah, which I don't really think it's that practical. I guess you know it's to, to you know give a little bit more room for the arm, but it doesn't really do much. Mm. Um. So other than that, it's a pretty simple kit. The um the back pieces do come off. These do come off, and then there's these little like armatures, um that you can put on, um to extend them. Which is um, sort of neat, I guess. And maybe uh, so you can put other bits on there. Yeah, it's mostly so you can put expansion kits on. Um, but I like that it did do something with the core kit. Like it's not yeah. just yeah. expecting you to buy something else. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the um, in the original one, there's this huge um, rifle thing that goes with it mm. um, that that'll connect to. Um, 
but this one doesn't actually have that. The, the Lupus doesn't have the um, expanded version. Mm -hmm. So um, that's it. That's pretty simple. I I do like some of the design choices. Uh, oh, like the um, like the fact that the these vents are separate pieces instead of being stickers. Oh, nice. Yeah, which is cool. I'm there, glad they did that and the shoulder pieces. There I are do more of that stuff. Me too, me too. There are some problematic stickers though. These sticker these these gray pieces right here, these are stickers yeah. and they're ugly. They're terrible. They're, they're wraparound stickers and they're awful. These blue ones are also they're not quite as problematic. Um they do wrap around pretty well. The problem that I do have with them though is is that that piece right there, that vent that's actually an indented piece in, t in the kit. So without the sticker, it's this nice, lovely vent piece that di um, dips in. Yeah. Um, and with just a slight bit of panel lining, you can make it look really awesome. Yeah, better to paint it for sure. Yeah, this is a kit that would probably <clears throat> benefit a lot from painting. Oh, yeah, also the, the, the knee knees. Pieces. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, just like, you know, I expected them to be. They, they look pretty good. Mm. Um, and as far as others, there's... <sighs> So the eyes, of course, are stickers, oh, but also the neck has a sticker. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of hard to see. Well, the cat's deciding to get into our review. <laughs> um, but the neck has a sticker on it, mm -hmm. which is kind of strange. It's, you know, a sort of shiny gunmetal piece. I don't know that it would look much different without it. Mm. Um, but again, th th this kit would actually benefit a lot from from basic panel lining, it would benefit a lot from painting. Yeah. Um, as you can see on the shoulders, there's some great panel lines. There's a lot of really good places to accent it. Um, so if you're gonna get this, consider doing that. Just, mm -hmm. you know, spruce it up a little bit because it, it deserves it. It's a great design. Um, Even if the skirts suck. Yeah, the skirts, the skirts stink. I really, really, really despise the skirts. I <laughs> hope the 1-100 version does something better with the skirts. Um, because there's just no excuse for these. But don't worry, if we find out, we'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might, I might actually get the one one hundred because I like the kit. I lo I like the look of it. Um, the shoulders actually do round out a lot of what I didn't like about the original Barbatos. Mm -hmm. um, it gets rid of that sort of football player look, um, <laughs> a little bit Gundam Maxter, and makes it more like um, Almost like a purely. knight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so. Oh yeah, there. You see, they they actually pop out a little bit, mm -hmm. um, so they're separated from the, the that piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, oh, also the um, the the waist moves quite a bit, mm. um, which is kind of cool. Um, it's on a nice rocker. And when you see it moving like that, there's almost that kind of Evangelion. Yeah, it does have a little like shade little of Ava. Bit. Yeah. The legs. Yeah. It's a little on the creepy side. Yeah, I'm actually eager to see what the 1-100 looks like now, mm -hmm. um, thinking about it. So, you know, I might pick that up and take a look at it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I I paid five bucks for it. <laughs> it's a great five dollar kit. Um, it's not and, a bad twelve dollar kit. Yeah, at its at its retail price, which is like twelve bucks, it's still a, it's still a good kit. It's just, just get your panel line marker with it. Yeah, I don't think it's as solid from from a structural standpoint as the original Barbatos. Um, the original Barbatos really impressed me. Um, but aside from that, like I don't know. I it's it's a cheap HG kit. Nothing nothing spectacular. Um, but if you like the look of it, no reason not to pick it up. So anyway, there's our review. Okay. Matane. Matane.